Okay, okay, okay. Understand now. So you get that's why you you propose that. that yeah. Means, so uh, now you'll be able to completely understand what we are doing to yeah, yeah. doing open stack. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know open stack. <laughs> you know open stack mm -hmm. and now you understood how the vcf is set up yeah right now how will we integrate with open stack you i'll show you that just give you a brief introduction so that <coughs> this is the setup I have pre prefixed setup right more than this You understand this is VCF fabric, mm -hmm. two spine and four switches. Exactly like you want it, right? Your setup, right? Four leaf switch, two spine switch. I have two VMs or two compute nodes. Each of these compute nodes, I have one OVS open research. That also big switch. Yeah. In open side you have OVS which is open sided, right? Big load fabric has big load fabric controller mm -hmm. has own version of OVS which is called switch rate virtual. It runs on the compute node. So on top of it we have the controller and the controller is integrated with OpenStack controller now. This is the topology for the time and because it is remote online lab, so there are several things already configured. All the stuff that you talk, the port group and configuration, all that, right? It's already set up. We are not going to now how to create segment, tenant, we are not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Because you now you understand, right? Yeah. Now what we are going to do that, we are going to open stack. In the open stack, I'm going to create projects. Mm -hmm. I'm going to create networks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spin VMs mm -hmm. and see how it is deployed. And without configuring any physical switch, how you can deploy the whole cloud. That's what we are going to show. Right? For that, what I will do, I'll show you the typical integration as well. I'll come to that later. All admin, admin, admin. Okay. So this is how the topology in big cloud fabric. We call it tenant. That is project in OpenStack. Big load fabric, you see logical router. Every tenant will have a logical router to do intervillian routing. That is a router in OpenStack. In big load fabric, segment, every VLAN we call the segment, right? Which is network in OpenStack. So I create a router in OpenStack. OpenStack through the BCF plugin configures the BCF controller and creates a logical router. <coughs> I create a project in OpenStack. It automatically is created as a tenant in Bigload Fabric. I create a network in OpenStack. It automatically gets created as segment and assigned with this VNet. All that automatic. You are going to see that. Right? This is a, this is a demo. Now, how it is actually getting integrated? This is the fabric, physical switch fabric to which all the virtual workloads connected. Each of these virtual <coughs> workloads has virtual switch 
connecting to the physical switch and all this is controlled by the big load fabric controller big load fabric controller via api connects to open stack neutron two ways it modifies the ml2 driver which takes care of layer 2 routing and switching layer 2 switching the l3 plugin which is l3 routing so in normally in open stack when you install a neutron node and an l3 plugin that becomes the router for that particular cloud mm -hmm. so every time the you got to go to the router and come since big load fabric integrates directly there the open stack has an access to the complete routing table of the physical switching so the entire routing knowledge is pushed to the virtual switches in the compute nodes so routing and switching happens in the compute node itself you don't need to go to the open stack l3 router to get routed it's called the floating routing table so this i'm trying to explain the ec and what we have modified in that right any questions you ask me and this all we have seen okay now i will skip all this because we have seen this this is what i'm going to create projects and all that everything i will do in open stack i'll see here it's okay so now i go back to this i don't need now it's all geo ips because it's open stack right and first i may create log into the As I explained you, two spine switch, four leaf switch, two virtual switches, right? I'll go show you the switches. Some coffee tea. You want? You want some tea? No, 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 no. Tea, tea, okay. Tea, tea. Okay. Oh, that's the right yeah. tea. Yeah, <coughs> tea. Tea. Or coffee? No, tea is okay. Tea is okay. This all already set up. Right, I'm just showing you the switches and the compute nodes. The way this is the virtual switch. It's already set up. Right. I'm not going to configure anything. So I'm going to only show you nothing is pre-configured here. No tenants, right? Nothing is there. Since no tenants, there could be no no segments as well. And no endpoints also. So meanwhile, let's check the IP address.
so it's nothing created i'll go to for this i need to create a project you been you familiar with open stack <coughs> See, <coughs> these are all some some demo, some admin services. Let us leave it for something like that. I don't want to disturb. I don't know why they can't be like that. Keep it. I'm going to create a new project, right? I'm going to create So we create uh, a project in mm -hmm. OpenStack. I created a project. Then I want to add a project member, just an admin, so that I can manage. create another project green admin so see I created two projects here green and red mm -hmm. This name is the name Serial number project ID Give it, yeah Give us B No, no, the green B to This is a problem Red is not coming.
something. <laughs> so now we got the two projects here, right? So now I'll add some more. The project is what can end here, right? What I created as a project is created here. Now I'm going to create. The name is a project ID, green and red. Yeah, project ID. So, what now I'm going to create three networks in red project. This connect the uh, ML to plugins. Yeah. ML. Yeah. L three. Two, two plugins, I think. Uh, two, oh. ML2 and L3, yes. L2 and L3. Yeah, both. ML2 is a modular layer 2 plugin, L3 is the router plugin. Both is part of a neutron subsystem. So, which Big Cloud Fabric goes and integrates with that. Alright, now I'm going to create. Okay. Now there is no instances, there's nothing in there, just I created the project, right? There is no instance, no VMs, nothing. So I'll go to the since I first I created the project, I'll go to the network. I create networks. What is the exact name I need to give? Okay, so I create a network. This is a segment in Big Load Fabric. Right? I created R, the dev. Here when you are creating a network, you are saying the IP address, subnet, everything in a single go, in open stack. I will get the IP we need not give. Because if you don't assign a gateway IP, it picks the first IP of the segment and after assigns it. So we always leave it like that. So I created a web segment, then I create app segment. Op segment IP. Let's check the IP for the app.
So I created three VLANs assigned to one VRF that is three segments in tenor in OpenStack. So It's straight. Once you set up on the open stack, instantly will be yeah. pushed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See? No delay. Okay. You got it, right? Okay. So, everything, your question, who wants, it, it becomes uh, irrelevant here because you set up the network, you integrate with open stack controller. Open stack is what the framework you set up. Right? Then compute guy is going to spin his VMs and assign whatever based on in open stack also it could be KVM, it could be even Microsoft, it could be VMware, anything can integrate to open stack, right? So this is how it is. Compute guy manages compute infrastructure and storage infrastructure and you manage the network infrastructure, all common. You don't no dependency needed. See, this is what our SDN integration to the open stack. Right? Now we can actually spin VMs and see. We all say that, right? So now I'll have to configure. Okay. I'll go to the routers. There's nothing configured. There is no topology and nothing, right? And there is a topology I can show you. In In open stack. Yeah, all version. The last uh, version seven. Which one? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the it's a difference. The new one is uh, still looking good. Uh -huh. Okay. This one. Is it? Okay. <coughs> so see, this is the topology here, right? You have three segments. You go there. There's no routing. Nothing set. You could see here what is the topology in OpenStack. You see three different segments, no connectivity. You created three networks, but you have not set up routing, configured, no policy, nothing. Here in the system, there are two tenants, right? In tenant red, yeah, more fast, just OpenStack. Yeah, more fast. Open stack is more fast. Can you create one by one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why. So now I'll create routers. Let us set up routers. So to jump in the video, No, no, no. You see here. Create system, create one, create this, create that, create the cloud. It's more fast. Yeah, first time I'm trying to explain you the right side. Different level. Okay. Uh, yeah. so you can do faster there. So I create a router. There are some things that probably like complex routing or complex uh, uh, port connection that definitely you will need, need to do with the PCM interface or the <coughs> Anything that can be standardized in yeah. template, we can use it. I'm creating a router for red tenant. I created a router, right? Now I need to set a gateway. I created three segments, right? Mm -hmm. You remember I used to create a segments in uh, interfaces in there. First I create Add IP address optional after name add interface. I have given 
that IP address, right? It's like actually automatically picked up. <coughs> one by one, repeat. Add interface. 